ladies and gentlemen, good morning. Today, I have made a small video, especially for you English people, because I have lost reputations ever I was young. First of all, I think it's important to show you certain pieces of history, particularly these hearts from the first or second world war. It was important to make it in English. Please, may you apologize my terrific French accent. I'm really sorry. The Brody MS was created during 1915, during the First World War in 1915, because of splinters injuries coming from the sky in the trenches. It was decided to use this particular form of total this particular total form. This type of helmet was used from 1915 to 1944 and post-war by many other armies like Israel, Belgium, Denmark, Netherlands, etc., etc., etc. First of all, here is a small British helmet. It's rested and not full. It's damaged, but it's a real helmet. It comes from the north of France. It was found in a field on the trenches. He yeah, has one century. It's very old. This was used during the battles of Vigny and during the battle of La Somme. No. I want to show you another helmet. I want to show you other helmets from the Second World War. This one is my first Mark II helmet. It's dated 1940. It's a GSS. There's a beautiful insignia on the left side. I don't know what it means. It's in perfect condition. It's complete helmet. I love this one. That was my first helmet. I love this one. It's my better helmet. Now I want to show you a second Mark II helmet. Where is it? Yes, I found it. This one is another Mark II helmet. This one comes from Caen in Normandy. This is the 53rd helmet. It's a Mark II. It was used. It was used during the Battle of Normandy. It's in complete condition. I have washed it with oxalic acid. It's perfect helmet now. You can see the insignia on the top. No, I get another one. This one is a Mark II Civil Defense Helmet. Note the three holes on the side. It means that's the wrong helmet. It means that it cannot be used for armored forces. It was used for civil defense exclusively. Look at this. Am I yet? All the helmets, a magnet, armored forces helmet was made with amagnetic steel. Civil defense helmet was made with magnetic steel. This one is the ultimate relic of a Mark II helmet. I found it on a D-Day beach in Normandy. It's inox. From 1944 to the end of war, common land forces used a new type of helmet, the Mark III. 
This is the Mark III. It was designed to provide a better protection for fighters. Here are two items coming from the menu. This one comes from the Abbey Darden. It comes from Caen. I found it when I was very, very, very young. Look at this. This was my second cast when I was very, very small. It's a unique piece of history because it was painted on the camouflage. And you can see the detail into the helmet. The name of the owner. It's a unique helmet for me. I love this one. It was provided to protect Peter the fighter. It was used from the 6th to 1944 to the end of war and after the war, long, long, long. This one comes from Normandy too. It was washed with oxalic acid. It's in bad condition too. It gets a lot of painting. Look at this. It's in perfect condition. Allows it to helmets. These two helmets come from Normandy. From 1945 to 1980s, Britain developed the Mark IV helmet. Yes, I get one. You see? It's practically the same. If you see this and the liner. Look at this. Look at this. American system, British system. That's cool. This is a Mark IV helmet. I want to show you two other helmets. This was Rolex. This one was a tank helmet. This one was found in Normandy. I found it in a field. I can let you imagine what it all right. I was born in a village near front line. Many British tanks fought, fire, uh, fought at this place. And I get another relic I found recently. Another British tank helmet. It was completely burned. Some paint, so you can see the ultimate trace. Post war, British troops used the Mark IV. They developed another system using a left dot system an American system. This was practically the same liner. After, they used the Mark, the Mark V with a plastic liner, really, really easiest to use. And less expensive, I suppose. So, I want to show you my last image. This is 
the Mark VI, the Mark VI helmet. It's very heavy, but I love this one. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching. You can subscribe if you want. I love England. I love Great Britain. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.